So hey guys, welcome to another video and the patch 6.2.2 should be live this week. I'm saying should because they've delayed it over and over and over again and they might delay it again. But hopefully we're gonna get it this week. Now if you don't know, this is the flying patch. So if you finish the meta achievement called Draenor Pathfinder, all your characters will be able to fly on Draenor. However, flying isn't the only thing that's being added with this patch. So first of all, we're getting a whole new currency system for the Time Walker dungeons and a whole new reward system. I already made a video about that. So there is an annotation on the screen. You can click it and it will take you to that video. But they're also adding something that should have been in the game for a very long time. They're updating the Winter Whale and the Hollows End events to include some garrison rewards. And you might think, oh my god, please no more garrison stuff. But these are actually really good items that allow you to customize certain things around your garrison. So we have things like the Ghoulish Guises, which will dress your garrison's guards in festive costumes. Or Hallows Glow, which will add pumpkins, candles and other decor to your garrison. And many other things that allow you to customize your garrison in a small way. So it feels more personal, it feels more like you did something other than just pick which building goes where. And this really should have been in the game since Warlord's launch. Alright, because for the first time, when you start building up your garrison and you're getting all the buildings set, that's a lot of fun, at least for me, it was amazing, I loved doing that. But after you're done, after you have all the buildings laid out, and everything is level 3, or even level 1, it swiftly devolves into just menus and sending followers on missions and doing the same thing every day. But just imagine how cool it could have been if you had more customization options once you sort of finish the initial period of building up your garrison. So you plop down all your buildings, you choose your guards, alright? I want to have my salvage yard over here and I want to have dwarven guards, done. But suddenly quests start appearing throughout your garrison. And you can, I don't know, for instance, get an elven skin for every single one of your buildings. Or a dwarven skin. Or a worgen skin. Or even if you like the Chinese-inspired architecture of the Pandaren, you can get a Pandaren skin for every building in your garrison. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be better than just, yeah, you've collected 100,000 Apexis crystals, have a statue. And it's kind of sad that they're adding this essentially at the end of the expansion. And the expansion is over right now. We're not getting anything new. Archimond has been opened for LFR, so everyone has killed Archimond, and we are done. It's a shame, really, they added it this late. It could have been so much cooler if they added it earlier, or even launched the expansion with it. And let's not forget that this gives people a reason to do the Hollow's End and the Winter Whale events once again. Because there are people like me who've been playing the game for a very long time, so we've done these events year after year after year, and even though these events are fun, you know, I personally, for instance, don't care about achievements. So I go in, I have a bit of fun, and that's kind of it for me. I don't really have a reason to go there. But this gives me a reason, and it's actually really good. And they can do the same things with the Legion artifact system. That's why I like it, because they can take an artifact skin, and let's just say, okay, if you do, I don't know, the Winter Whale, or the Hollow's End, or whatever, you know, the Noble Garden, you can get a cool skin for your artifact, and this will give people like me a reason to do these events. And that's really good, this encourages gameplay, and encouraging gameplay is good! Right? So yeah, thus far, I'm really liking patch 6.2.2. You know, it adds flying for people that want flying. I don't really care, even though I'm almost done with my uh, Draenor Pathfinder achievement. But it adds the Time Warp badges, so it gives people a reason to do Time Walking Dungeons, just to have a bit of fun with them. And I know there is a bunch of people that hate Time Walking Dungeons, because we're lazy assholes reusing content. You know, there is so much good content that's obsolete, I'm kind of surprised they didn't do this sooner, and I'm happy! I love doing Time Walking Dungeons, and now I actually have a reason to do them, because I still run Time Walking Dungeons. Whenever the event happens, I will run these old dungeons as many times as I can can. And now that I will get currency from them, and I have a reason to do them instead of just having a bit of fun, and I can buy stuff with it, I am really happy with this. And on top of this, I now have a reason to do the Hollow's End and the Winter Whale events, so I can get some customization for my garrison. This is a very good minor patch, in my opinion. 
And that's it for this video. So I thank you very much for watching. What do you guys think about the new patch? Tell me in the comment section. If you want to know more about the time walking changes, once again, you can click the annotation on the screen. It will take you to that video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.